Hello folks and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, the Mortal Empires campaign for the Skaven. So uh, once again I'll be doing this as a video instead of my stream while my upload rate issue is still in effect. But anyways, let's get started. So uh, the last episode I believe we pretty much continued wiping out the rest of the High Elves. So they don't really have any presence remaining on Uthuan. I think they have one little place up here. Uh, Slaver's Point it looks like. And I think that's really it. I think they are pretty much, for better or worse, eliminated. So right now we have this one army that's pretty much ready to go. Then we have Skulk's army as well. They're pretty much ready as well. So I think our focus is going to be getting our forces down to uh, either take on... Oh wait, no. Well, eventually we'll take on the Dwarves. But for the moment, we're going to focus on the Nekrark Brotherhood. The uh, I believe this is like the placeholder faction for what will eventually be the Tomb Kings. So... Our goal is going to be to take them on. Hopefully we'll do pretty well. Uh, military presence is still a big part of that. Because they want to move this army as well from here. But as long as there's the public order issue, it's going to be hard to do that. And let's see. Well, this is still going to be a few more turns before I can get that taken care of. Alright, well, that's not going to do any public order. A research rate, that could be a good thing. So yeah, let's do that. Is there a reason to do this? Mm, might as well. Okay, so we have two armies that are pretty much ready to go. They should be able to move, and then we'll be good. Hopefully this army that's there... Uh, they're still taking a little bit of provincial instability. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna cut off taxes to that place. At least for the time being. Um, you! What can I do with you? Can I have you target? Let's see. What's your current target? You're targeted on Fyrus there. It's just that you haven't moved. Hopefully you'll move. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, we can move Skrulk to there. We'll move him as well to about the same location. So I have another lord that needs to move this one. Oh yeah, you're heading to Slaver's Point. So let's get you moving. Okay, so they have a lot of forces over there. I gotta be careful. Because I do not want to... Ooh. Oh well. I don't want to end up fighting them. Okay. Uh, you are my little ally now, aren't you? Let's have you take Karan Kar. So they have two locations here that are still under their control. Oh well, it won't last for too much longer. You are not moved. You are um, not moving. And it looks like we're ready to go. Now I could move into Bretonia here. I think there are some pastures which would be good to take, but for the moment I'm just gonna hold off. Also I see that I am maxed out on my food that's available, so eh, we'll see. All right, the Agal are moving against that one settlement, so that's a good sign. You, Chaos, go away! Part of me almost wants to fight those beastmen, but... I'll let them be. Ooh. Uh, do I take it? I don't really need it. So you know what, I'll just move myself to there. Uh, you... Let's also move you there. Now, they did actually take some attrition going through that area, so that's not exactly a good thing, but we're gradually making our way there. Alright, 
Hero, can't really do much with you. Erkling, what to do with you now? Because I don't really have any more enemies on Ulthuan that I have to worry about. Okay, really not much else I can do here. Um, you, knife. Lothurn, can't really do anything with you either. So this building does do public order. But it really doesn't help too much. Well, I mean, it helps a lot, but it doesn't do what I need, or to the extent that I need, that I can actually leave that settlement behind, so, oh well. Oh, I forgot about you, Fudge. And now he's in the middle of this area. <laughs> Fudge. Oh well, hopefully he'll be fine. If I get him into allied territory, I'll be alright. I believe, anyways. Now, I thought they were... focusing on that settlement there. Ooh, Clan Moors is destroyed. No! That means that I can't get Queek now. Well, maybe I could still get him. You want me to join the war against the Beast Catches? Nah. If I was to get Queek... I would have to probably do... Bring me tribute gifts and... They want me to join the war against the Vampire Coast. No, I'm not doing that either. Stuff Statures. Oh, you finally. Who brought you into that war anyways? By the Necrarch Brotherhood. Lovely. Okay, well, that's what I got knife over here for. So let's get you moving. Have you move up. Lothurn is going to be fine without you for the moment. Alright. Skrulk. Well, let's see. Let's move Mika first. Because I don't want them moving in... Uh, at the full sail speed. Just because I don't want the chance for them to get into trouble out there. Okay. So we have that going on there. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to have them move over to the Twisted Gale. Or Glade. Because once they're on friendly territory, they can start to uh, heal up, so... Because I'm definitely not going to take on Tyrion when uh, my forces are there, so. It's only going up to 54.3. I suppose it could be worse. Oh, more research available. So we can do spread rot and disease. Uh, best of the best. Or unfath unfathomable horrors. Uh, since that's only going to take five turns, why not? I'm almost to the point where I've maxed out all of my potential uh, research, which I guess is a good thing. So they're moving to defend Karan Kar. If the Agal move fully against them, they ooh, the Greenskins are destroyed now. Alright, so you probably want peace, but no. Because I want to hurt you as much as possible. To eventually hurt the dwarves. Come on, Agal, just attack the stupid city. Oh, there's 17 garrison there, that's probably why. Alright, so Vashnar's conquest is once again 
at war with us, and it looks like they're over here. And everyone gets campaign movement range now. Oh, are you seriously stuck? Is that because there is a storm here? No, it's because you're in deep water, apparently. We'll get you out of an attrition area. Because I don't need attrition when I'm about to hit this place. Ooh, this place is suitable climate, so I'll probably end up going to uh, just take that territory that's there. Okay, where's our other group? There you are. So get you onto land. Hopefully you're, you are healing now, good. And you'll be fully healed in the one turn. Then it's just a matter of actually having us reach here and then wipe them out. All right, I'm not gonna move any of those heroes. What are my rights looking like anyways? Uh, so, diplomatic relations. Increased loyalty and increased hero actions, but we'll wait. Yeah, it'll be possible for me to possibly bring back Queek, but I would have to cause a rebellion to outbreak wherever their original location is. And I'm not entirely sure where that original location is at, so it may not work. But I can at least try it and see. Alright, so we are almost in range of Phyrus there. Ugh, they're still taking a little bit of attrition. It's not the worst, but it's still not ideal. Okay, you're out of attrition, so that's good at least. We're gonna have to take Phyrus and sort of bunker down for a little bit once we do. Now hopefully I'll be able to actually move on to this island immediately. No, it's really not looking like that is going to happen. Fudge. Alright. Cheer a flush. Let's get you moving. So Slaver's Point looks like that has a lot of defense of its own. Can I get the Dark Elves here to focus on that point? And what happened to Agol? I thought they were going to hit this place. What the hell? Were they defeated? I have no idea. Alright, um, hero, not gonna move the heroes. Sorry Tower, while I'm just passing by. Oh, I didn't even notice that Temple of the Horned Rat thing. I mean, I think I've known about it, but... Huh. Well, I'll wait. I don't really need to do it, and I'm not recruiting any units there, so... Oh, and I forgot to move knife.
What are you up to? So that one moved a little bit. It didn't move much though. Gotta be careful with them. Okay, Agal is trying to take Karan Kar again. They want military access? I guess I can do that. Although, personally, I don't really like them because... I have a feeling that they're going to try and do something to attack me. But what can you do? Alright, Nagrand is moving against that one settlement there. Knife, let's get you into a regular position. Have you move there. I think we can take on that army there. They don't look too powerful. Alright, next and most important thing. Getting us into position to try and take these guys on. You... Uh, well, at least at that location you won't be taking attrition anymore. Why do you have to go all the way around there? That doesn't make any sense. Vashnar's Conquest has a lot of stuff there. Which could be bad. Ugh. I don't understand why they can't get onto land from where they are now, but whatever. I'll just leave them there for now. Okay, you, let's see, we need somewhere that we can do an ambush. Ugh. Let's try there. Because if we can get him in an ambush, we'll do good. If we can't get him in an ambush, um, iffy. Just given the number of their forces and all that. Because if they can get both armies against us, we're doomed. Alright. We'll wait with that. And now let's go just take a look down here. Because you would think that these armies could just go onto the rocks here and then get to fire us. It would make sense. Uh oh. Our ambush is foiled. That's not good. That means they're going to send all their forces against us. But it's only Tyrion's force, so you know what? We might have a chance. We're going to take a full number of the Menace Below groups, and let's fight it. Alright. We're in the wooded area. Not entirely sure how well that will be for us, but let's get things set up. The good thing is they don't have any artillery. Or they have one thing of artillery, they don't have any cavalry. That's what I meant to say. Alright, let's try and position these forces. To make a good shield wall. The 
Warlock Engineer because he has his ballistics thing. I'm going to put him right between the lightning cannons. Put you there. Put you here. I have rat ogres at the ends to move in. And then the health pet abomination is going to be in the middle there. All right. If anything should work, this should be it. Let's get started. Take out that great eagle there. If I can get their forces far enough away, I can send some clan rats to hit them. out and hurt their artillery a little bit. Alright, Assassin, head on down so we can take on Tyrion here. Run away, assassin! Run away! Okay, these sword masters are like way too powerful, honestly. Warblock loaded! Scare for you! 
And the army is starting to break. Lovely. Yeah, seriously, these sword masters are way overpowered. All right. Well, my army is going to fall back. Hopefully, some. Well, it looks like some of my artillery remained. So, if we can get another set of artillery barrages against them, maybe we can do all right. Get out of my way! Or maybe we're just outside of their range. We might be. He doesn't seem to be coming to attack us again. Oh, wait. Okay, he's not good. <laughs> the age of the what do you want? You want a peace treaty? Sure. Well. Ah, nah. If I'm gonna go war, go total war. Alright, what are these Necrarch things doing? Alright, lovely, you had something stolen by the enemy. So let's you have you head all the way over here be pretty much next to uh, them. Um, can't go into encampment stance right now, but once you're healed up, then we can figure something out for you. Okay, at least I can tax that province again. Lothurn is still holding its own. You head in. Those stuff snatches run away. I might just auto-resolve this, just to take him out. Oh yeah, we're just gonna take him out. Alright, knife, I will boost you up a little bit. What was going on here? That, yeah. Plague Priest... Earth power... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Now, how are we going to do this? I could... do that. If I had Skrulk go there. Uh, continue the siege. And if I had these guys come here. Okay, we've done damage to their walls. Let's see what we can do. I'll do a few minutes of blow. All right, let's do this. All right, it looks like our reinforcements are coming from the right, so that is probably where we're going to focus most of our forces here. We'll have our gunner runners set up to move in and do as much damage as possible. Uh, Skrulk and those guys will set to group one, along with the gunner runners. And the night runners as well. Alright. Let's get started. Our main goal is to destroy their forces as much as possible. And hopefully they'll remain mostly behind the walls. And let us do that. Yes, 
And they're sending cows against us? It kind of looks that way. Some kind of body, I think. get some of our forces our lightning cannons into position to take on well it looks like my like my uh play Kalaw catapults are doing a good job as well against those oh actually it's i sent my play claw catapults against those i chose the wrong group here whoops Like they might be trying to send some of their grave guard through, but it, so far I think we're all right. Might as well use our king conduit for the moment. Oops, wrong group. You are supposed to focus just on the troops. And the lightning cannons are supposed to do that. Okay, and you storm vermin, get out of the way. Just fall back. Alright. Let's get our slingers into position. Okay, one group is sort of lagging behind there. Oh well. You I'm going to put there. To give them a boost. I don't know if the poison really does anything against eight, uh, the undead, but I figure it probably won't hurt. Some of our gutter runner slingers are starting to fire. Let's bring the warlock engineer there ahead. And he can start to rain down some warp lightning. Ooh! The necromancer's almost down.
Oops, it went the wrong way. There is something about when a spell is used near a wall that it sometimes bounces. I don't know what that is, but... Yeah, the undead, I think, are really probably some of the key targets that Skaven can do damage to. They don't have ranged units. They don't have artillery. They have magic, but for the most part, you know, there are so many numerous uh, Skaven that most spells really don't cause enough damage to them, so... All right, let's just do a big line here. I think I'm just going to increase the speed just because I want to wear them down as much as possible. Let's see. Skrulk, let's have you do a little pestilent breath, maybe. Or there's this plague thing here. Let's do that. Spell, that plague spell doesn't really seem to do as much damage as I would like. I don't know if it's just because of the fact that it's it stays in one area. But it's just not as good as I would like. Okay, good, the Warp Lightning Cannons are doing some damage to those Vargeis. Because if we can take those out, we'll be pretty much set. Give them a little accuracy boost. Yes, absolutely. The worst thing you can do with a Skaven is try to last him out. If you're fighting a Skaven group in uh, Siege, don't try to outlast him. It's not going to work very well. All right. 
right, most of those Vargeis are gone. Should it be about time to bring in the heavy forces? I think it could be. All right, who do we want to strike with first? Probably try to take out those Karen Wraiths. So let's move in. Give a boost to that. Now, fortunately, with the Karen Wraiths, we don't have to worry about uh, armor because they don't have any armor. So the poison weapons, I think, should help us pretty well with taking care of them, though. I forgot about my rod of corruption. That should help too. And Skrull can weaken the armor of these units. Let's see if we can't take out that death vampire. She's not liking it very well. And that is the end of that army. Alright. We are going to take this settlement, uh, full settlement. And this will take us a good step towards repairing everything. And the vampire corruption is taking a big hit there. Alright, so Mr. You, whatever you are. Let's see, we'll increase some of his spells. Alright. So we're going to want the nest port, because that's going to be useful. Uh, turn this... I eh, might as well do some salt. Public order we'll probably need. Or do we want to do... Well, let's see. We have the weapon burrow there. Den of secrets there. And a clan armory. So if we're doing the clan armory, we'll want to do the one that boosts uh, storm vermin and all that. So we'll want that. And then I think we'll end it with... Do that? Probably. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Just to have a defensible position here. Alright, you're going to be pretty much repaired in one turn, and you're going to be pretty much repaired in one turn. Okay, so we're making some pretty good progress here. I will end it. Let's see. You know, you know. Alright, so we'll end the turn, and that way we'll be all set to go in the next one. You have a lot of stuff there, you cheating little thing. Okay, we'll end the turn, and that way we'll be fully ready. 
for the next episode. War declared dwarves and the top knots. Still not us, so it's nothing to really worry about. These agols suck. They really do. Alright folks, that is it for this episode. In the next episode, we will start to make some good progress against Necrock Brotherhood. Doing that is probably going to piss off the dwarves. Let's see, they are currently... Oh, they're only 139 with us? They don't like the Necrock Brotherhood? I thought they were friends. Apparently not. Okay. Huh. Okay, for... Whatever reason, the dwarves don't like the Necrock Brotherhood. I thought they were allies or something. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. Alright, folks. Um, be sure to leave any comments if you see anything. Um, and, you know, anything like that. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to leave a like on the video. Alright, folks. See you in the next episode.